Now, Heartland Hoops, sponsored by EBOMD. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to Heartland Hoops. I'm Todd Richards. March has arrived, and so have the girls' state quarterfinals. We begin in Class 3. The Saxony Lutheran girls playing at St. Pius High School in Festus. We'll see if the Crusaders could punch their ticket to the Final Four. Meanwhile, St. Pius, trouble right there. Brooke Blankenship with the basket. Saxony Lutheran looking for some answers, and they've got some. Abigail Haley from the corner. She knocks that shot down, then off the inbounds pass. You wonder where Evie Caruso is, because she's got moves, size, and talent, and that one falls in. Meanwhile, Blankenship again. She goes up, I don't know how, but kind of cut through the defenders to get that basket. More of that ball club called St. Pius. They were getting it going, but no quit. Watch Macy Hollis. She goes up off the glass and gets two more for Saxony. Then Rebecca Johnson. She is on the court. She's in three-point range, and she hits that shot. They made a run at it. Saxony gave them all they could. Caruso again, but they fall short. St. Pius eliminates them 57-41. And of course, St. Pius goes to the Class 3 Final Four. All right, Talking Girls Class 1 quarterfinal play. The high-powered Delta Lady Cats hosting fourth-ranked Walnut Grove. Luke Randall has more on this heavyweight battle. Two of the top teams in the state fighting for one spot in the Final Four. Everyone in Delta came out tonight, including the mascot, but Walnut Grove strikes first. JC Gavis getting the score right here, but Delta would respond immediately. Maya Gillespie for three. Here comes Walnut Grove, however. Ellie Smith scores, and Delta actually gets in some early foul trouble. Coach Heap has to get his team refocused. Lady Cats take a slight lead into the second half, and in the second half, Jade Berry back in business, out of foul trouble. She scores automatic from three, and Delta would cruise and get ahead, a standing ovation. They dominate the second half to clinch a spot in the state semifinals. Senior Presley Holweg, who led the way for the Lady Cats with 19, spoke to us post game on how this has been a culmination of a journey that for her started more than a decade ago. I've, I've been in Delta since pre-K. I've been here my whole life, and as you know, it was just an emotional night. Uh, playing my last night here, but I was glad to do it with this team and everybody around me. And Coach Heeb told the players, hey, go hug your families. Jade Berry here having an emotional moment. She caught up with us afterwards and told us, hey, this team, they can do it. If we all work, if we all just keep working together, we can get to the very top and win state. And with the number one team in the state, Meadville, crashing out tonight, the Lady Cats will face Northeast Cairo Wednesday night at Mizzou Arena in Columbia. In Delta, Luke Randall, Heartland Sports. All right, Luke, another great effort from you, my friend. And Delta, how about that? Now, we've talked about quarterfinals in classes one and three, some unfinished business in class two, Portageville hosting Principia. The Lady Bulldogs coming off that huge 20-point comeback win over Neelyville. Could they get it going at home? You see a Scott, she gets the, the bucket for Principia. They are really good. Principia again, but Portageville would also get things rolling. Uh, they get it going. Denia Smith and company, they were also hitting some strong drives and layups. And, and Jayla Weddington and company, the floater, uh, they were getting it going. But Nyjah Williams, man, boy, they were just holding them back. Whenever Portageville needed to get it going, they just couldn't quite get that basket that they needed. Portageville trying to fight back. Offrey Greenwell and company, Taryn Irby, a lot of the, the names. Uh, Jayla Weddington, they fought, and they fought hard. But at the end, Portageville would fall short 50 to 42, ending an outstanding year for the Lady Bulldogs. Meanwhile, here's tomorrow's boys quarterfinals. Class one, Richland at Chadwick at six. Class two, South Pemiscot at Puxico at one. Puxico hadn't been there since the 50s. Class three, defending state champion, New Matter County Central, plays Kingston on the road. Luke will have all your scores and highlights this weekend. Boys sectional finals tonight at Southern Illinois. Benton hosting Bree Central in the Class 2A championship game. We'll head out for those highlights. And Benton's Docker Tedeschi. Not an easy name to say, but a guy who makes the game look easy for those Rangers. Oh, is he good. Just kind of goes up and under for the bucket. 
And then Isaac Billington, not a lot of scoring, but you know what? Just enough for those Rangers. They would squeak by Breeze Central. There's your score, 34-32. Way to go, Benton. They move on. Meanwhile, more Illinois boys, Meridian winners. They move on in Class 1 in the sectional final. Class 1A, of course, in Illinois. And Centralia knocks out Mount Vernon in Class 3A, 49-33. One round down and maybe the, one of the games of the year on the girls' side coming up. Talking about Notre Dame and Donovan for all the district marbles. We will be right back after the break.